What is up, Carolina Self Defense? Good to see everybody. Got my girl Lynn, my man Jack, virtual. Um, anyway, hey, we're excited to be here today. Um, spent a good bit of time today at the studio and uh, preparing some, uh, some really good drills that we're gonna be posting. Here's how it's gonna work. Uh, for a lot of you in level one, you know, we have a level one curriculum. As you know, you can access that on carolinaselfdefense.com. Go to about and then scroll down to curriculum and you can find the curriculum. So we have that curriculum and we're going to go through it in a very systematic way, especially during this season of time of quarantine and, and staying, staying indoors. So it's going to be something that uh, you can definitely, you can take this and we'll, we'll, give you, we'll be giving you the list of what we'll work on uh, week by week. And during that week, you can take those particular skills and improve on them. That's what you want to do. For level two, there'll be skills that you'll be able to work on for level three and four and so forth. So um, we're not going to differentiate. We're not going to create a different level four page for the level one. And I'm sure you, you know, the new new people, you want to see the more advanced stuff. And certainly you can, you can do that as well. But I really want you to focus <laughs> on developing those skills during that period of time. Uh, the one that we worked a lot today was all the elbows of, uh, of uh, level one, okay? So, uh, and, and also I do wanna say that I have, uh, we are having a lot of physical fitness, of, of fitness type uh, videos and drills that have been made available to us. So we're gonna share those with you and I hope I really hope that you're using this time to stay in better shape, uh, to get in better shape, um, and, uh, I and I want you to warm up before our time here so that we can really give you just quality content that's all about Krav Maga and developing your Krav skills. So you got that? So uh, we're not going to be, uh, you know, we're going to do a, just a light kind of warm up, but that's, a, that's, a, that's about it. So uh, we're going to start here just with some big circles. Uh, actually, let's... We got plenty of room. Let's just let's just get our arms kind of loosened up here. Big shoulder rolls here. I don't know if you've got any kind of joint issues. I've got joint issues. I'm always I've got an anti-inflammatory called meloxicam. That's that's what my doctor tells me to to get. I try to try to stay away from milk and stuff, but it's very very difficult. I'm a cereal guy. Love to, love to get some, eat cereal. Uh, good, uh, start with some horizontal movements here. Good, since we spent so much time on elbows today, I like I said, I am gonna post that. I kinda wanna, it makes me wanna cover them right now, but uh, I also wanna cover more, more kick type stuff. So, uh, all right, good. So I'm gonna take my right leg, bring it up, hold it up, try to keep it up there, uh, stretch it and then just go side to side. This uh, actually works balance as well. I'll never forget one of my first Krav classes and they said, stand up on one foot. And I was like, gosh, and I literally could not even do it for five seconds. I've got tiny little feet, size four. I'm <laughs> just kidding, not that bad. Right, right at size eight and a half. I have to have a nine though, because my feet are like hobbit feet. They're really, really wide. Uh, anyway, let's uh, add a kind of a squat to it. Shh, driving here. I want to keep my toes pointed out versus, versus in here. Shh, boom. Again, this is a hip flexor uh, kind of warm up here. Uh, boom. boom. Now, instead of more of this kind of rising knee here, I'm gonna make this a stabbing knee. This is really kind of strange if you're first starting, so uh, you don't have to do it. You can stick to just kind of bringing that knee straight up and out. But as time goes on, we do have something we call a stabbing knee. It's when I'm in here and I just wanna just drive it out. I make it very very uh, uh, level, parallel with the floor. And this is kind of a Muay Thai strike. So anyway, if you can handle that, pull it up, chamber it in, and then drive it out. These are good for 
when you're in a closed close space and you just need to drive those hips out and cause some damage here. Good. Uh, all right, so we're gonna kind of go east west here, and uh, we've brought this up pretty much in almost every single class. I'm gonna take a slight advance with my left foot and bring this knee up to the level that I want to stomp at. Remember, a stomp, the power comes from the hips, not simply the extension of the leg. This has nothing on it. This, on the other hand, my hips right here. I, I got, I've got some, I've got some, I got my whole body weight that kind of goes into that. So I step, I chamber this knee, and I just kind of drive it out. Now, this should be said, especially because we've, uh, we've got a lot of couch pillows and stuff like that we're gonna be kicking today. Very important that when you, when you extend your leg for kicks, you don't go 100%. I do not want to uh, hyper extend that out and get to where I'm starting to injure the joint. So always keep that little one or 2% in. Anyway, step, get up there, stomp it out. Um, actually, let's, let's see if we can kind of hold it for a second. That helps. Good, then I bring that down back over the box and set it down. Then I take that same leg that I advanced with before and now I step back, I chamber the leg up and I stomp backwards, okay? Uh, again, my hips, what's, what's the rule we said? The hips stay in? Until the weapon is. Until the weapon's on its way. Now what that means is if I went, hey, you're gonna, I'm gonna get her, huh? like this, now all I have is just a little bit of an extension of the leg. But if I keep the hips in, and then when my weapon leaves, boom, I'm able to drive it a lot further. Okay, so same thing, keep the hips in, drive it back over the box. When I say over the box, I always wanna bring, the, bring it back and chamber it down. I might as well answer the question why. Let's say, here's this person here, and she sees me coming and she throws this offensive kick to my stomach. Oh, wait, you, you get it. Good. What, out of desperation, what is my first movement going to be? We've never discussed it before. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to grab down here. Okay? So the last thing that she wants to do is just be letting that thing fall and me get it here. You know, if I said, look, grab, I'm going to do it to you. You just grab my leg. Oh, gosh. So I wanna, when I kick this thing, man, I wanna bring that sucker back, woo! Get it back here as quickly as possible. I want it to do its job and then get out versus and just be dragging around here. So that's a, kind of an important point. Now certainly there are times that, man, boom, my strike was so good and I just followed through and my recoil was not back, it was forward. That's okay, we're not talking about that. All right. A lot of talk there, let's just do this drill, okay? Stomp, boom, down. Advance with the other leg, chamber it up, boop, pop it out, good. Step with this leg, bring it up here. An advancing back kick, an advancing front kick. Over the box every time. Working on keeping my balance, notice, that if I were on a mat in some kind of competition, I might be driving off of this foot. But when we think about being in self-defense situations, surface area is a big unknown. I want as much surface area on the ground as possible so my foot is just planted. Boom, here, okay. Let's speed it up a little bit. What do we call this? Microwave moment. Wait for that coffee, oatmeal, Waiting for your, trying to think of something funny, what would be? Waiting for my, my baby's milk. <laughs> Remember, this is a stab. I bring it up, it looks like a little roof. I extend it forward versus being down here and then popping up. Good, let's switch legs. So now I'll advance with my right and step down forward. Yes. Yes. Backwards, I roll on that foot as I keep it 
chambered, stab the back. Whoa. I'll take the furniture out. Good, and shake that out for a second. Let's see what we got here. All right. Uh, before we go to some kick, uh, to some more kicks, we uh, for those of you who have a partner, one of the uh, one of the early things that we teach in level one is a principle called being a hard target. It just means that if I reach for someone, I just I want to make it very very difficult for someone to to grab me. So as a general rule, you can think of it as A B C D. Here, she tries to grab me. A, avoid. You know, get, get the heck out of there. Here, oh, block it if I have to, if I can, or uh, redirect the energy. For the most part, we put those in two categories. Something inside the pocket, whoa, I redirect the energy. If it comes outside, I block it. Okay, so A, avoid. B, block. And C, control, and D, even when I do get control, I want to direct that energy somewhere else besides towards me and get the heck out of there. A, B, C, A, B, C, D. So let's look at the inside one. My partner, uh, I'm going to create this nice little number 11 as a part of my fence. We know what the fence means, right? Hey, back off, lady. I study, you better back off. You know, where I've created at least two arm's lengths, the principle here is no matter what she did right now, if she doesn't move her feet, or even if she lifts her foot, she wants to kick me, it's not there, right? She wants to hit me, it's not there. She would have to leave her place, advance to make something happen. And as she does, I continue to move as well. So, hey, lady, back off. So, so from, this, uh, from the fence, anything that comes inside, is going to be a redirection. So the way, the easiest way to start this is to to do the uh, shirt grab. So if if nothing else, well, <laughs> hey, got your shirt. No, this kind of hey, lady, I'm gonna do you know the more of a dude thing, I guess. But anyway, whoa. So she's gonna bring it, kind of bring it up here. Now I like to challenge myself, and I'll start with my hands down low. And her her goal right now is to put her palm right here on my shirt. Whoa, lady, stop, okay. Whoa, so every time in my mind I'm resetting. I'm even, whoa, even looking towards the side, okay? So we'll start here so you can kind of see what's going on. She reaches, whoa, okay. Now, tell your partner, say, this is not like, ooh, we're gonna trickle, we're gonna trickle. No, I, at first I want them to see it. She can try to trick me, but you know. And whoa, okay, so uh, what is this? Remember, redirect, is two things really. One, I move her. Number two, whoa, I move me, okay? This is boxing, slip, move, bob, whatever it takes. And then the other one is redirecting. It's not that difficult. In fact, I'm gonna tell her, take her right hand and punch me in the face. Whoa, hey, come on lady, what are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Some good on Hey, woo. Okay, now even though I'm not looking, I know where this is going. It's going right here, okay? So this is where it's going. How much do I have to redirect this so it doesn't hit me? Right here, okay? And every single time I do that, this is just creating a median between my middle and her middle. So that's all I care about. This is not like, find the target. Oh, get that off me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me get the guy to come do this. You can do it with this. So, uh, so now with you guys, when you, when you start, I want you to, you're actually going to start with kind of the shirt grab, uh, or actually even a shoulder grab. But for right now, I want him to open up his palm, and he's just taking it right towards my head. Okay, and he's still looking to pop me in the head, right? Oh, that's it. And he goes as fast as he wants. Whoa, dude. Hey, okay. Now, you don't have to do it like a machine. Do it like a person. Hey, you. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, whoa, okay. Hey, whoa. All right, so what I'm doing is the hand to the wrist area, all of this right here uh, is not flimsy. I want it nice and firm, but I use it to create 
a meeting. I, it's like I want to treat this like it's an iron bar and I'm just putting it up here. Now, perhaps he runs into it. That's okay. But for the most part, he's going to go on the inside. So nice and slow, this is what's going on. All I'm doing is putting my hand like over his face, maybe maximum towards his shoulder. But that right there creates a median. In fact, I'm going to say, look, I want you to punch me in the face on this side of my, on this side, mm -hmm. anytime. Do, it. Do, it, do your best. Ah. You're hitting my hand. I mean, try hitting me in the face. Okay. Uh, all right, so I don't mean you have to go through this. You can go around it. Go around it? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is what happens. See? Even if he's like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll kind of go around you, <laughs> like in that movie Wanted or something. Yeah. yeah. Here. Um, are you worried about, like, what if, what, if, like, I would be worried about someone, like, breaking my fingers? Uh, okay, good, good question. Uh, could they break my fingers? Well, to break their fingers, they'd have to be coming and coming down, right? So that's why we actually use the phrase wrist to wrist. He throws that strike at my face. Gosh, oh my, I really want to hit it with my wrist. This is very firm. We include the hands because as time goes on, you know, boxers do that, right? They use their hand kind of, and, and it, uh, I don't want to rely on just my hand because this, this is out of a movie right here. <laughs> you know, uh, the hand is very small, so I don't use this. I use all of this, just like a windshield wiper. Oh my gosh. Open your hand, tuck me in the head. Oh, do whatever you can. Well, wait a second, you can do it from the other side? Yes, of course. I prefer the same side. Why? Because that puts me over here where I can actually do something. If I, over here, uh, you hold on, I, I just redirect you here, he's still there. He's got, bam, he could have access to the back of my head. So I prefer, he throws this one, I prefer to use the same side and it gives me a better position. Okay, so we're talking, we're, we're talking about the word redirect. All right, here's how, here's how we're gonna practice this from an early stage. Now you will need a partner, so uh, in fact, I, uh, I, I I often will use kids for this as well. I'll get on my knees and say, look, I want you to push me over, okay? So here's how I'll do it with my partner here, just to make it kind of a fun little drill. My partner here is going to use her, her palm and she's going to drive into the opposite side shoulder and try to push me over. That's her goal, right? Now you can make it as precarious as you want. Okay, over here. Whoa, this is what this is what's going on. If she uses this hand, she's punching in here. Okay. Now I'm going to start by uh, by uh, creating a nice low modified fence. So not so much high. I'm just going to be kind of be right here. And when she stabs that, she's been looking to push me over. Oh, let's do this one so you can see that. Boom. I'm looking just to just to redirect it. Now, I will tell you, if I go like this, it will work, but in reality, what am I open for? I mean, that you know, punches come in bunches, right? So when this starts to be a punch and I go way too far, I'd much rather be here so that it's much more efficient. Anyway, okay, so I'm here, she's punched, pushing me, whoa, oh, oh, oh. And then you start realizing, okay, I can't just like, if this has to be firm. Whoa. Okay. All right. So we'll put, well, let her do it. And let's see some. So, so now. Uh, so I just have to push her over. Yeah. Ah. Now, so uh, <laughs> one side, you go ahead and get uh, e your feet equal out here. You're not, he's not in a fighting stance. Okay. He's just right here. And he's using his right hand to shove her on her left side okay. uh, into the couch or his left hand on her uh, left shoulder, oh, his left hand. Okay, so for right now, you want to open up the whole palm so that it becomes a pretty, pretty simple deal, yeah. Oh, that, I cheated, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so the two cheats will be from this guy, he'll start cheating like, Faking it when you're going the other one. 
and then this person will end up putting their hands like this. <laughs> so it's like almost impossible to get through. So you need to keep it at shoulder width. And as I said, you don't want to be like, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. You actually want to be, oh, well, I'm not expecting this. Oh, I'm not expecting this at all. So this is a failure drill. Drill, uh, fa failure is good in this, right? Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> Okay, good, and switch. Ooh, let's, let's see how it goes. Uh -oh. A little spousal challenge here. Oh, see. It's really high. The guy's <laughs> cheating. Is it? Okay, so right here, he's gonna start right here. Uh -huh. Oh, she got one through the very first one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know it's tough, it's tough here. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. I have well, a long way to go. My defense is this way? No, you don't see uh, Yes, yeah, inside, inside, basically, all he needs to do is just create yeah. enough to where it goes whoop, yeah, to the yeah. side, whoop, to the side, and not into him. should work with their partners to be better. Now, let's let's look at the real secret. We said that redirect, uh, so now he's gonna push either shoulder. Push. That's not pushing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But with me, you can push either one. Oh, so we said, I can move him. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, Oh, oh, that's my fault. <laughs> Not at the same time. His hands are so what? high, my redirection like goes right into my face. I, I have to push down. So I'll be pushing down, but do not judge me about that. <laughs> well, okay. So uh, I can redirect him or I can redirect me. So now I'm going to, this is, have you ever seen somebody catch a baseball and, they're, and the baseball is going uh, regular speed and they just keep their hand right here and they go, okay. Ah, it hurts. But yet there's some other times where they go zoop like that and you kind of create the basket, right? That's what you want to do. Even if he punched me in the face slow. Oh my gosh. I, if I could not stop it, I'd want to actually go with it a little bit so that mm -hmm. I mitigate the damage. Anyway, all right. So, so now this is pushing shoulders and I, I have no, no use of that. Just doing opposite. No, in, in, yeah. either side. Now, of course, see, if he pushes here, the bottom line is this is, I'm moving me. I don't care which hand he, he uses this hand, I'm moving this one. He moves this, pushes this hand over here. Well, I'm still doing it here, right? I'm moving me, not him. No, I'm sorry. There we go. No. Now, how do I get how do I get better at that? Then I can start saying, okay, you can shove anywhere. Whoa. And as I said, this is a failure drill. You want you want to get to where you failed because you could not read your read your Okay. Alright, let's see them do it. Alright. Spouse of challenge. Oops. I thought we said we were going to get around the kicks. Okay. Okay. I don't think you're actually just saying it. If I use the whole palm, it won't be. He's going left, right? That's pretty easy to predict. predict. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went in the middle all right. Oh, like that. <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> All right, good. All right, get him back. Here we go. Uh, right, no, no hands, no hands. Oh, yeah. All right. That's his jam, yeah. 
Okay, good. So you can see how how great, how much better it is when you can do both. Good. Uh, good. Now you do do the same thing, and now like keep your hands right here, and and use the use the uh, use the redirect them when you need to when it's like it's going so hard like whoa that's tough. Oh, I better get out of the way. <laughs> you gotta stop signaling with your eyes. I'm signaling. I'm just staring at you. Gotta stop signaling with your eyes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good feedback. Oh. Oh, good feedback. Oh. You're hitting me so hard. <laughs> oh. Put your hands up. Just. All right. Good. And done. All right. Now. Now remember, this is true anytime I have something coming at me. So now, I'm gonna let my partner throw an offensive front kick, or let's we'll call it a defensive. The difference between an offensive front kick is boom, the ball of the foot versus the whole foot. So I'm gonna let her get the whole foot in there and shove me, her, her goal is to use her foot to shove me back. All right, so that, yeah. And again. Okay. And again. <laughs> <Little No. bit. laughs> Good. Don't worry about being shot. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Go ahead and you can throw it hard. <laughs> no, no hey, hey, baby. What's going on? Hey, look, I had nobody ever wanted to be. All right, so you see me doing the same thing. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I move me or move her. So. Good. Thanks. Just test me and see if she's really trying. Go for it. Uh, whoop. Uh, even, now even that, she got a kick in, but you saw the redirect mitigated it. So of course, boy, I mean, this is not something I want to play around with. Like, woo, I think I can, you know, I'm going to use both. I'm going to use me to redirect. So redirecting a stomping type kick, let's look at it from this perspective. She's going to. Whoa, my gosh. I treat this entire side of my body like it's one unit. This is not me going like this. You think this, this oh. is going to win against that? No. Boom. It's my whole body creating a structure. And wherever I am, open palm. Once again, I want as much margin of success. This is, now even though over time you can get pretty good at this, it's you know, you can figure out where that leg is coming from and you can use the hand. In the early days, I probably want to use this whole, whole arm, like a two by four. This is not me trying to intersect it here. This is me like, whoa, it's the same thing as she punches me in the face. It's the median, right? She stomps, it's a median. And of course, the other part is moving me. I say, whoa. Do your very best to kick me. Oh my gosh. What's going on there? I don't know what's, I didn't do anything. She got one in. Good. Hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah. It's, listen, people are not very good at kicking. Okay. <laughs> the average dude out there. Yes, there are, you know, uh, uh, MMA type of people, but the average person who's just trying to stomp is pretty, there's a lot of energy and it's just kind of coming forward. Lady, I don't know what you're, boom. I can re, I, I get, I redirect it. I get out of the way. All right. So, uh, this is not a level one technique, but the principle, uh, starts in level one. Uh, my wife who is behind the camera right now, she will tell you it's very frustrating for her. Anytime I have some tissue on my clothes, you be my wife. She's like, Hey, I was like, Hey, I always re redirect the energy and improve my position. What are you doing? lady? get off my, no. Stop bothering my so, All right, so that's where it starts. You start like, I'm just going to grab your shirt. I'm gonna grab your shirt. Ugh. Good. Now, that was a great redirection. The next part of this equation is to improve your position. Because yeah, if a big deal, you, you, you won that little battle, but did you win the war? When, I, when all I have to do to re-engage is right here. So as soon as, as soon as you redirect, cut that angle, 
We call those just 45 degree angles there, boom, and just you want to get behind them as quickly as possible, okay? So, uh, she reaches for my shirt. What the heck? Lady, boom. I'll hit a lady. She tried to grab me. No, I didn't. Uh, do not remember I said that. Whoa, what's going on? Okay, so I want to get into the fight as quickly as possible. So, whatever level you are comfortable at this, you can, with a partner, you can do it. You can say, all right, use only your right arm to grab at my shirt. Hey, lady, how are you guys? What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Hey, hey, there, well, I lost. She's, even if I go fast, she's getting that, so I should be able to switch up to the other one, right? All right, good. All right, so here, no, not me do it, you guys do it. Okay. All right, so uh, one partner oh, no. reaching. Oh, now, you got to be careful. Listen, especially if your partner's 6'4 and you redirect it and it goes in your eyes. All right, so be careful. You don't want to poke anybody in the eye. Keep that, keep that hand open and going back and forth. Actually, you just did it, so now you're, you're reaching for his shirt. Thug it up. She's a thug, man. It says streets of New York, reaching up there. All right, freeze for a second. Now, again, notice the cheat here. Although you can cheat if you want, you know. What, what does this right here do? What this does is she reaches for me. It makes sure that everything is on the outside. Maybe I like that. Maybe I like the fact that, you know, that she comes to the outside and I can do some other kind of redirect. So that, but that's a different story, right? That's a different technique. Right now, I'm working on okay. everything is in the shoulder to shoulder pocket, right? right. So, uh, so like I said, this, I think I probably would do this as well. But for, as I'm practicing this, I want I want to let things come in into that pocket. Okay, here we go. Game, to, to, put in the, you give him a piece of your mind. So good circling away. Uh, again, here he comes. Boom. I would prefer to get even closer in here. Uh, Maybe I just need a moment to assess the situation. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Ah. Uh, okay. Now, again, you can even make these kind of things fun. So, uh, again, I'm not going to create these little circles here. And now I'm going to let my partner use their right foot just to shove me in the belly a little bit. So, so I'm gonna go to you, right? Okay. Hey. Yeah. Perfect speed, perfect, as I come in. Yeah. Good, and I'm not trying to trick her. I know she's gonna move, so I'm gonna go <laughs> like that, nothing like that. It's, hey, I'm gonna knock you. What are you gonna get you? You stupid. Okay, good. Now, you see that... I the, the yeah. Camera, yeah. Uh, now, listen, the crazy thing is, in all these other martial arts, you see a lot of fancy things. She wants to punch me in the face. What the hell? <laughs> and they do this. I'm going to go I'm gonna go over here and then go out here. You can do that if you want. But it's pretty much... It's better to be efficient. This is A. That's B. Boom. I'd rather do that. Now, if I mess up... Well, whoa. Boom. I can do that. Anyway. So, keep it fresh. Good. Not that. That. In other words, you, uh, this would be very difficult. Trying to reach down. I want this. Shove it around here. Big margin of error here. And this. I'll kick your nose, lady. You. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do, though. You drag it in. Right. So this side, oh, out here. In fact, if I'm in a fighting stance and she stomps me, boom, she uses the other leg, boom, I will do the same thing. Preferably front leg towards the back leg, which makes sense, right? She kicks here. This is where I have the biggest gap here. 
If I go this way, much easier for her to, her to hit this, right? Right, so even if I use this one, right? So it's different than the punching. I'm always using this. Good. Now, uh, we saw kind of a, sometimes you have the desire to reach down towards it. So now she stomps. Boom. And I, if, if I start going down with my hand, I, I'm not going to go, no, you're supposed to be over here. <laughs> so if I go down, I just pluck it. This is called plucking or rolling. So I need you to really hit it. There we go. Good. Hey, okay, good. I have to be careful because I'm going to extend her out. So she could end up doing a split if I'm not careful. <laughs> okay, good. So she stomps here. Uh, this is what I should have done, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, no, don't. You kind of went to the side. Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> so I literally go down as quickly as I can, as far out as I can, even if I'm out here. Yeah, I might have to uh, uh, compromise my posture for this. Because this is a pretty dangerous weapon, right? You, do you think I'm going to... I'm going to wait till she gets right here. <laughs> and then get that out of the way. Good luck. Whoa. I'm going to attack that attack. So, as hard as you can. Oh, oh, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa. Okay. So, the way we start this is I'm just going to place it there. I am not... But I'm also not going to go like this, right? I'm going to place it there with a little bit of pressure. Don't respond. That's all it is. Hey, boom. And this is the same even if it were a sidekick. Just, just touching it here. Okay? Now remember, big surface attached to the whole body, redirecting this. Okay? Good. So I'll have these guys here. Good. And for right now, I'm throwing this here. Now, you once again. Even if you have a child, you can say, look, hit me with the, hit me with the pillow. Yeah. Good, because you're just working on the redirection, right? Now, remember, uh, there's a phrase that we insert into a lot of uh, defenses. It's called attack the attack. And other words, once again, I said, I don't want to try to reach this thing right here. I'm going to go after it as far out as I can rather than wait till it gets right here. All right, so... Uh, so we're really focusing on partner drills. I hope you're able to adapt this to uh, just, uh, in fact, let's orient their bodies here so you can kind of see this and you respond to it. So when you see this coming out, you're just, hey, whoa, boom, turn your body. Remember, um, I drilled this from one stance here. In reality, I might make big steps. Perfectly okay to do that. All right, so it's nice and If my arm turns like this, then I've, I've, I've basically have said that I'm using my arm, but it's not really attached to this. I mean, if I get here, it should, everything should move at the same time. If I were here, you're still gonna see everything move, right? Hey, uh. I'm gonna knock your head off. So remember, the foot is always the same side if you can, right? This is using his left foot. I mean, his left hand is using his right foot. Now, if your body wants to say, go get it. Remember, the redirect is get the median there. If she kicks me here, I don't have to look. I know where the median, I've got a pretty good idea where the median is, it's right there. That's what I'm getting versus target. I must acquire the target. Hey, Excellent, good, and time. All right, so, uh, Again, how do you practice this if you don't have a partner? Well, 
Uh, a lot of times you can take a, a noodle, like one of the ones you use to pull, kind of put it up at face height. Um, I don't have one, but yeah, here, here. So I can be here, hey, whoa. I'm redirecting and closing that space. Hey, I don't want you to move, whoa. Boom. Working on what? Creating the median, getting out to the side, closing the space, if at all possible. Yes, I'm using my right arm on her right arm. This is not what I would do, but I only have one target. Maybe it's a new one. Notice I'm also lowering my level. There's a reason for that. As time goes on, boom, I eventually want to get to where I can throw a simultaneous counter. She throws that at my face. Oh! <laughs> and I throw, I throw a strike literally at the same time. So, uh, a noodle, uh, anything, or just even your imagination. Same thing with, with arm drags and duck unders and snap downs. Just using your imagination, kind of going through the, uh, through the movements. Excellent. I don't even think we bowed in, did we? Oh, I don't think no, so. Not, not this time. I'm losing oh, my proudness no. here in the house. It's just, oh, no. it's just not the same. <laughs> but we will bow out. So anyway, great time. Hey, uh, listen, uh, we will, this is especially true for the level one people. We're going to be posting uh, the, uh, the striking technique of the week, which is elbows. And there are seven elbows in level one, so it's quite a bit of work, and we'll be posting those day by day in the next couple days. Here we go. Shoulder back. Thank you very much, guys. And keep up. See ya.